Welcome to all of you out there, my astrology friends, my dear, wonderful community of astrology friends. Thank you for tuning in because this is a video that, or a sort of video that I have not been doing for a long time. If you look at my channel, this video, by the way, is two purposes. First of all, you're gonna, hopefully, if you make it up until the end of the video, you're gonna know more about Sun Pluto. So this video is all about the explanation of having the Sun in your chart in an aspect to Pluto. And I'm doing this because we have been just out of an energy of the Sun trining Pluto, Venus trining Pluto, um, and, uh, you know, Pluto in Aquarius at one degree, and Venus getting into Gemini trining it, then the Sun getting into Gemini trining it, Mercury, and so on. So we had just a trine, and now we're going towards, you could say, the next couple of two weeks, we're going to go towards the all those planets again, the Sun, Mercury, Venus, they're going to in conjunct uh, Pluto. So it means that, and especially the Sun I want to talk about here, that Sun Pluto is activated here. And we're going to see that in the world. And we're going to see that also in our own chart when it's activated. So I want to explain what that is, the Sun Pluto energy. And the second part of this video is a bit more personal. I want to reach out to you and ask a couple of questions. That's basically it. And I want to interact a little bit more than I'm doing because I'm not really um, have spent lots of time commenting on, on my uh, comments. Um, and I want to change that. So let's delve into it first and foremost, Sun and Pluto. What does it represent in a chart? And if we have a transit, which means an activation of that, what, what is happening? What is the interpretation of it? And um, I'll give you also a personal story, just uh, um, so that you see what this is all about. You know, it's always, I find it always easier when I'm watching someone on YouTube and it's, it's a bit technical. What can you do with it? You know, I'm a practical astrologer. I'm a Virgo after all, right? So I want people to see this in a practical practical way. So Sun, Pluto, the Sun is all about identity, period. If you, um, you know, if you, you don't want to be too much into the depth of the matter, the Sun is your identity. It's who you are. It's who or what you identify yourself with. Like, for instance, for me, I'm the astrologer. Uh, I'm also a mother, I'm also a partner, I'm also, and so on, and so on. That is your identity. I'm uh, from Belgium, for instance. Uh, I'm Belgian. Um, a lot of people think I'm from the Netherlands, but uh, no, my husband is from the Netherlands. That's a huge shift, but we, we, we understand each other. You know, it's the same language. Anyway, I'm digressing. Um, but that is identity. Who are you? At this particular moment in space and time, who are you? And Pluto, so that's what it is, the sun. Whether it is in Gemini, uh, as we speak now, it's in Gemini, so it's all over the place, right? And uh, if you are like me and you tap into the energies of doing the horoscopes, you really feel those energies. You know, Gemini is all over the place. It's scattered. and But it's supposed to be like that because we are Gemini season. Anyway, that's the sun. What is Pluto? Pluto is a generational planet, you could say. And Pluto is representing um, authenticity, the soul, the transformation process. Uh, Pluto is all about what no longer lives needs to die and so that it can be reborn uh, in a more authentic, real way. So Pluto is definitely, and of course we all like, we say, oh yeah, transformation, uh, easy, easy, easy. Ooh, it's not, it's not. Because transforming, whether it is with our Venus, which means love, I'm really short now, but any, you know, really uh, um, cutting to the core. But anyway, 
or Mars is about your actions, and Pluto there, it means a transformation of actions. So you could say Sun and Pluto means a transformation of the identity. It's as simple as that. So something in the identity needs to die. Uh, of course, if you take it literally, literally, it's like the death of the person. I mean, that can be a literal death. But 99% of the cases, it's going to be a figuratively soul kind of death. So it's quite a big thing and on an energetic level. Because it means you're going to vibrate on something different so that you can embody a new identity. That's Pluto. So Pluto <clears throat> wants to, you know, and it doesn't want to do it lightly, Pluto. It will demolish. It's like demolition. You know those videos with the demolition and all of that? It's like that. It, it's to the core. You know, it's the, it's the root canal uh, stuff that they're going to do on a, on a toot. It's not going to be just a little bit adjusting. No, it's going to the root of the matter. It's going to, you know, do with the drill what it has to do. And then it can build up again. You know, it's like, <laughs> why am I comparing this with a root canal? Because no one likes that. But it's a good comparison. No one likes that, right? All that pain and, and that uncomfortable. It's not necessarily real physical pain, but it's being uncomfortable. You have to sit there. I was in a chair. I, I've been having those many, many times, and I'll tell you why in a minute. Um, but um, so, yes, some Pluto. Uh, and Pluto is all about we have to demolish something that is no longer working. And so in order for us to build up. So trusting the process, it's like what I say to my clients, if they come to me for a reading, and if you want the reading, look at the uh, subscription below. You can find all the info there. But when people come to me with a Sun-Pluto transit, like Pluto on the Sun, conjunct or opposition or whatnot, and they want to stick to the old, it's resistance. And actually, that's a good thing, especially when people are conscious of it, because you're going to resist your old identity, <sighs> you know, although, or, or, or you have to be very much enlightened and know, and very much, you know, have dealt with your own stuff. Um, but most people, like everyone else, uh, you and me, most people, um, not the angels, but the people, they will have to go through some sort of a dying process. And um, when they have that sun Pluto, and then the rebirth starts. So, but what people want to do a lot, and I see that a lot with my clients as well, I want to do this and I want to do that. Um, I'm in a soul wrecking, uh, working in the, uh, and my soul is being wrecked because my soul is not in there in that company that I'm working with. But I want to start in BNB or I want to start a YouTube channel or I want to start this and that. And it's not working. That's the typical process of Pluto because Pluto is not going to let themselves get fooled. Because if you are fully embodying an identity of something and you want to fully embody another identity of something, you will have to let go of that. And that's also Pluto. It's, um, it's when you're resisting the Pluto, which is normal. Actually, I'm just clapping my hands when I'm reading then the email of a person who's going under a Pluto transit, uh, whether it is a square to their sun or whether it is um, an opposition or a conjunction. The fact that they're not resisting, it's a bit weird. It's a bit like, hmm, is it really going to happen, the transformation? Because transformation means growth, and growth means pain. And does it mean that you really, really have to, uh, you know, welcome the pain? No. It means that being uncomfortable as possible because you feel like you're dying and a part of you you're losing and that's actually grief that almost has to be there as well and when that happens the new stuff can come in only then of course this is working mostly for people simultaneously so something is dying and already new is coming in and because the new is coming in you are a bit forced to let go of the other 
I'm giving you, and that's what Pluto does. Pluto is a very slow process, but it does want it just, um, it wants to do a house renovation, not just like, um, or new electricity or something. That's way too easy. It's like, you know, the foundation, the foundation. It's like uh, um, the roof. Uh, and, uh, you know, you're having water in the cellar, or how do they say that? You know, you, you know, it's really deep, deep problems that when you're building a house and you don't have a good foundation, it's going to break, break off, right? So Pluto doesn't want that. Pluto wants you to break off everything or almost everything so that you can rebuild slowly but surely. So Pluto is a very slow process. It is a transit that is the longest, right? Because Pluto goes very slow. As we know now, Pluto is at one degree of Aquarius. So a lot of Aquarians are going to feel that. A lot of, I'm talking now to the uh, people who've got the sun in Aquarius at the very beginning. I mean, now, as I'm recording here on um, the 4th of June of 2024. But these, these videos are timeless. I'm going to put them in a playlist of the learning school that I'm already having with, you know, you have a whole bunch of videos about Pluto, a whole bunch of videos about Chiron, a whole bunch of videos if you're really interested in astrology. But anyway, back to the story here. So Pluto wants to, do, to break down in order to break up, uh, to, to build up. That's, uh, and it wants it to be very firm and strong so that you come back stronger than ever. So if the breaking down is not done well, you know, it's going to come back again. It's going to be a problem again, and it's, it's, it's not going to be as uh, real, and it's not going to be as strong. So Pluto is a lot about strength, and it's, but first, to get to the bigger strength, you need to, to feel very vulnerable and to allow that. And that is the space in between, right? It's the space in between that you feel like you're up to something new and you feel you have to let go, but oof, it's scary. So actually what I want to say, if you're in the midst of this process, and of course, if you're watching this and you're still watching this after this couple of minutes, it's for you, this video. I strongly believe in synchronicities of videos. Then it's you that is going under this process. And yes, um, Probably, if you would do let my uh, let me read your chart, you will probably have that transit, right? It's um, or in a solar return or whatever. But it really shows that um, um, you know that this thing of transformation takes time, and uh, but it's an energy when you come back, you're ten times stronger than before. It doesn't mean to say that you weren't strong in the beginning, not at all but you're going to be 10 times stronger. So it's also allowing yourself to be that better version of yourself because that's, and better, I mean, easier, more authentic, more real. So you're going to have more abundance, basically. That's, that's what's going on. I'll give you an example. When I had Pluto uh, squaring up to my son, it was a very important transit. It's um, for everyone who's got this, it's very important. And um, the square is a once in a lifetime because Pluto is so slow. But what I'm saying now also applies to the conjunction and to the opposition. Um, for me, it was extra important. Why? Because I, I'm born with a Sun conjunct Pluto. So I'm born when, um, and that is a bit for you out there, the astrology uh, students. Um, if you want to learn about astrology, if you're seeing a transit, that is repeating itself um, and activating the same energy, then it's like hugely important. In other words, if you were born with some Pluto, it's sitting there in your horoscope. You're not always going to feel that urge to transform. So like me, for instance, when you were born with a Sun conjunct Pluto, you, you know as an astrologer that this person, uh, which is about me, um, that this person, every now and then in their lives, it's going to be activated. So they're going to die and reborn, die and reborn, die and reborn. It's not, hopefully not going to be every year, of course not. But every now and then it's going to be repeated. 
Um, and that can be repeated at Sun Pluto just by an activation of maybe a faster planet, maybe Jupiter passing over it, or even Venus, whatever it is, it's going to be activated, that part of your chart. If you're having Pluto, in my case, so I know that. I know that every now and then in my life, there's a death of, of an identity and there's a rebirth. And you can't get away from that if you're born with Sun Pluto because that's one of your purposes. That's one of your sole purposes that you need to do that. And um, so you're going to have some breakthroughs in your life, but uh, surrender, right? Because if you're not going to surrender to the old identity, it, it, uh, it will make it even harder and more painful and more difficult and more stressful. So when I was having this Pluto square, uh, the sun and Pluto of myself, right? And in my natal, natal chart, I knew a huge shift was coming. And it was not that I'm checking my astrology a lot because I think it's difficult to do your own chart, but I was feeling it already like I was living in the corporate world and working in the corporate world and doing a corporate job. That was my identity then. And I knew that I would want to go to the identity of the astrologer. Now, if, if, if you say, oh, easy peasy, well, then you don't know what you're talking about. But anyway, this was for me huge, the shift. I knew I had to take it. And I mean, I knew inner, innerly because I was, you know, feeling that I was dying in the old job. I felt like it was so wrecking. I felt like I was not on my place there. And I felt like in a movie that I was observing and I, I didn't feel connected with it anymore. Right? You can feel that sometimes, right? Amongst people and you feel like disconnected and you're you, you are somewhere, but you don't want to be there. That was what I felt. But it doesn't mean to say that that identity was bad. I really want to em emphasize that because otherwise you're going to project. You're going to say they are bad and the company that I'm working in is bad and da, 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 and then you're going to stay there. Uh, you're going to stay there. You're not going to work innerly, which I had to do. I had to look very much to the inside and what was blocking me to go to the astrologer. You know, um, so that's the gap, right? You're from the, the working in a company, having a lots of security because of that, but not feeling that you're doing your sole purpose. And then seeing yourself there as an astrologer, seeing yourself there, but there's a gap, right? How, you, you know, you can see it. That's one thing. You can envision it. You can see it. You can feel it as well. I'm actually already the astrologer because I was watching YouTube and I was watching a fantastic other astrologers. Some of them are still there. Some of them are not there. Uh, but I was seeing them and I was saying, can I do that? What they are doing? Can I be that identity that they are already expressing? That's another thing of Sun Pluto. Sun Pluto is about... Uh, copy paste energy it's about when you feel inspired by someone um, and that you copy paste that that identity by doing what they're doing it's inspiration you know when you see that um, you want to be an astrologer and you're inspired by people you you're gonna do what they're doing Maybe they're doing weekly horoscopes or monthly horoscopes or and so on and so on so I was inspired by them. And um, so I said, okay, it, it, it doesn't have to be that hard. But there were blockages, and that's for everyone personal, right? Some people, the blockage is that you don't feel worthy. Other people, the blockage is that uh, they find it creepy in front of the camera to be an astrologer. Other people find it creepy to, you know, what are other people going to say? When I'm going to make that shift, that was a, a – you have to be very strong, and rooted in the new identity to make the shift. because, And that's why so many people are not doing it. That's why there's only, uh, you know, one uh, Steve Jobs or there's only one, you know, TELUS player that's at number one. It's a lot that kind of are inspired by, the, by it, but not many who can follow that level. And that doesn't have to be that way. 
So, um, but I was very much without knowing, I was negatively attached to my old identity. Negatively, it means that I was, you know, projecting, they do me wrong and they're not giving me the right job and blah, blah, blah. I was very much in my drama. But then I said, eh, I, I have to own it, right? Astrology helped me a lot, by the way. I read about Pluto. I read every book that you can imagine. I watched videos about Pluto and so on and so on. And so I understood that I had to go through that pain and I had to go through the unknown. And you can only do that when you trust. So the gap is there for a reason. The gap, which is time in our perspective, it's time, right? Whether we like it or not, we have time to, um, to take into account. And using that time, to as a process it's trusting the process as well because you're and at one hand you're dying and on another hand you you feel the aliveness when you're doing that new stuff so it's a combination of creating that safety um of um will i have be will i have be and that commitment it's also commitment commitment will i have to the blockages for instance let's say you have a blockage that when you're gonna be the um you know from nurse to saleswoman or maybe the other way around the blockage can be that your environment uh, your family your partner whoever it is are gonna resist you now that is a lot of energy to deal with negative energy that is um, and you have to be already believing it yourself very strongly because then you will have to, it's going to be easier for you to, um, uh, to kind of seduce your, your environment, um, to uh, see you as you are. But I I'm saying that with a smile on my face because seducing is not working. The best thing that is going to work is if you're going to believe it, they will have to make a choice, you know. They will say, I'm in or I'm not in. And which is, again, you have to be able to, um, to, uh, to carry that along with you. Because it's not, not, it's not you know, it, it seems easy. And I know people think, oh, Virla, you did it. You did such an easy, you, you did it so easily. I did not. It was not easy for me to shift from that period from, you know, working in a nine to five job, so to speak, with a lot of security, financial security, uh, with a lot of safety, with a lot of, I know what's going to come and what's not going to come towards the unknown. And Pluto is the unknown. It's you have to jump into that. But I'm not recommending doing that. Just, oh, I'm jumping and I'll be fine. No, I'm recommending to go deep and to... Um, this process took me quite a few years. The process that it takes, that transit, you know, it's two to three years that you can feel a transit of Pluto squaring up to your sun. So you've got time to do that. That's always the first thing that I'm saying when people coming to me sometimes in panic uh, and having this transit. So, um, so yes, and it it is totally about... Um, accepting that it's going to be the the sooner you say i accept that it's not going to be easy i accept that this is like the the twilight zone you know the place in between no one likes that it's like the the teenager that is becoming an adult you know it's always like you're both of them and you're not really it's that shift of identity it's um uh, but it's a very beautiful process because uh, when you're doing it consciously, it's going to help you. It's still going to be uncomfortable as, Phew. but it's about working on those pieces to feel the trust in the new identity and that you can do it. For me, it was, I can't do that. I can't do that. I can't do that. Those other astrologers that are doing that, it seems so easy. You know, it seems so easy. And it's your belief system that you need to change. Yeah, and you have to fake it till you make it. Maybe, maybe in the beginning you say, yeah, I, yeah, I can do it. I, and, you know, look at my old videos. Look at my oldest videos. My goodness me. The content, <laughs> I, I was okay. But 
how it was done oh my goodness you know the light and the the the, the sound and oh hoo, 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 hoo. um and i'm still learning but it's by you being vulnerable and hey i'm a student again in the part that i'm going towards you know i'm not you know when i'm going to do that i might not be the best astrologer i might not be uh, where i'm now at the job that i'm doing maybe you're the best of something but you have to live with that 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 is going to be a process and um you know in this karmic energy there as well you know um for sure i went pretty quickly into uh especially when i was doing the monthly horoscopes it went quite quickly of having readings already and uh, but i did a transition i also because you know i have pills today i i um and i didn't want uh of course you ha you need the support as well my husband was a <laughs> from uh oh uh, an economist to an astrologer oh that's exciting you know and that is of course something that is so valuable but even if you don't have that you have to find it from within that support that is saying hey i want to be vulnerable but i'm going to be one day uh, where you want to be you know not everyone wants to be the best but <laughs> i recommend you wanting it but anyway um in your field to be passionate and the using your talents to the fullest that's very important so it wasn't easy at all it wasn't the, it, it looks very easy but it isn't so that's why people and especially today in this age they have strong desires but they don't really understand that it's uncomfortable and that's why i'm doing this video as well too because i know a lot of people and i'm getting a lot of readings for people who want to shift their jobs and so on so i think this can help people to um to understand that and uh that first and foremost you will have to accept that it's going to be very insecure and un and you're putting you in a vulnerable state and second that you will have to work on the trust within third that you will have to shift your belief systems um for instance yes i was saying like i can't do that i can't do that so I, I don't know anything about youtube i i, I don't I, I don't know I, i'm bad at computers i'm bad at it that's not my field so i can't do it <laughs> well if you're like that are you worth the place where you want to go you have to own it and you have to feel that you are worth it for that position for that place it's a lot of people for me it was i was afraid of my own success i was afraid of using my talents in the right way i was afraid of that and of course that that's a belief system as well i'm not going to be good enough i'm you know i'm virgo I wanted to be perfect straight away well that's you know it's stopping you it's it's a fake thing um so you have to be vulnerable there that you're doing some videos and it's a bit you know it's not perfect but you're doing it and the doing is um the action so uh, was it the fourth thing or the fifth thing you have to do action according to that new identity which was for me making videos doing readings asking money for the readings you know all these things and you're gonna get into blockages and but it's not gonna stay like that now of course again sun pluto is going within so you have to understand why you're feeling the blockages and i give you another very good tip if you are like the wrong belief system where are you getting it from like for me the belief system was i can't be that astrologer so i went looking into the astrologer uh looking into the astrology can give you uh, an understanding of maybe former lives where the blockages come from but also a good one is family you know you you come you look back towards the very very beginning and why you have put into your head the belief system that you can't do it maybe it's not even your belief system maybe it's a belief system that you copied and that you have to you know it's theirs maybe it was even from a friend or a connection or a partner even i know it's creepy but it is 
So it's taking responsibility of that and working on the self. It's doing a lot of inner work as well. And that is, you know, taking months and maybe a couple of years to that. And for some, because it's a quick transit, maybe a very positive transit, Jupiter trining uh, their own Pluto or, uh, you know, a more Pluto trining the sun, it's going to be a little bit easier. Uh, which means with not so much that uh, you go through that pain of vulnerability and, and, and or, or feeling vulnerable and whatnot. So it's a commitment because if you're not going to commit to the new uh, identity uh, consistently, so in my case, that was consistently making videos, having the discipline, you know, the sun is identity, but the sun um, in astrology represents also the father and the father in a chart um, or you could say the energy of the father is about discipline and it's about boundaries and it's about you know the father figure right it's about taking actions and doing things to in order to become what you want to what you are aspiring so when you do all those levels and of course it's a bit cross you know, it's not like this level is done. Now another level, it's going a bit as it should go. But um, I mean, in a natural way. But that's how you're doing it. So if you are, and the same for, you can apply this. Uh, if you say, I'm in a relationship and I feel stuck. But I want to be there. And a lot of people already did the work of what they want. If you don't know what, what you want yet, but you know that it's a different identity, start with the breaking down of the old. And it's going to be freaky. But then you're going to have space for the new. It's like with a closet. If you have a closet that is full and you want, to, and you want new clothes, but you're doing nothing with the old clothes, it's, you know, you will have to stuff it in, and, you know, doing like that. You can make it yourself easier and get out the, out clothes, the old clothes first. And then it will be easier to put in the new. You know, it's, it's, it's all these analogies. And I know it's a bit cheesy, I know, but it works. It works. And I, if I can do it, you can do it. We're all human beings. We're not more or less than each other. Yes, in form, we're different. Absolutely. Um, but that's the beauty of life. But... Um, you know, it's a beautiful process. And um, so that was my message, my little message here for uh, the Sun Pluto. Um, because a lot of people are, um, I'm referring to in my readings again, um, are using the playlist to learn astrology and to understand them or to understand themselves better. So check out the playlist that I'm having and that I'm, well, I, I want to work on those playlists again. You know, I'm finding a little bit more time to do that and um, talking about identities. Um, so every now and then I see the signs when I have to shift a little bit of my identity. I'm not under a huge transit now at the moment, but I feel that things are shifting. And of course, these energies, it's for all of us. So... Um, the last couple of years, I definitely um, am doing a bit of a shift as well. And people are seeing it. People are seeing it on the internet. They are, um, and it's so funny, right, that it's it's reflected in, in, in those videos. They are seeing that I'm a bit more open, a bit more, um, how would I say? Yeah, witty. I mean, a uh, humor is has always been important for me for sure but um also um my goal is to connect more with you guys and girls and women and men whatever you want to call yourself and that is in the introduct in uh, the connection because um i underestimated this channel for sure and i mean the community the ones that are watching yes you 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 <laughs> you out there we are linked whether you like it or not or whether you want it or not we are linked we have a connection it's invisible but it's connection and um so what i want to do is ask you guys for some help of 
what would you like to see on this channel beside the astrology, but that is a sort of a tool for the astrology? Let me explain. Of course, when I'm doing a reading, when I'm getting a reading and uh, I'm doing the astrology first and foremost, the patterns and so on, but that's because, again, that's who I am, the kind of astrologer that I want to be. I want to give you some tools. I want to give you some. I just I don't want to be a, just a doctor and saying, yes, you've got A, B, C, and D. No, I want to give you some guidance and some tools to work with. But of course, I don't want to take on your problem, but I want to guide a little bit. And if that resonates, you do the work yourself. And of course, some people sometimes come back to uh, do more readings. Sometimes they do once a year. I've got other clients who come every three months. That's fine, as long as you need it. And uh, as long as I feel that you're making progress and um, I see that in, in, the, in, the, in the email because, uh, of course, if people just come for like a quick fix, it's not going to work. But I think I'm not exuding that. The, so I'm certainly, um, you know, not uh, exuding that clients want to do this in a one, two, three. Um, you know, you attract what, what is in you, right? Now, so... Of course, when I'm doing a reading and I'm explaining something, I want to have a toolbox myself that worked for me in my experience, but also that I saw working for others. And I'm, and those toolboxes can be a book. Uh, it can be a certain therapy. It can be, but it has to be something that I believe in, of course. So, and I was wondering because, you know, I'm open for, uh, Jupiter is now, uh, my, which is my ruler, transiting my seventh house. And I'm having like massive information coming to me from other people just supporting me. And, um, uh, and a lot of knowledge is coming in and a lot of understanding of things is coming in. And I want to share that because I, I think there's uh, when someone is doing an astrology chart, they need something more. Uh, you call it coaching, call it therapy, whatever it is. But I want to create something, either this channel or another channel. That's my one of my questions to you out there. And you don't have to answer those questions, but if you feel just when you feel like it, what would you prefer? Would you prefer that I'm doing these other videos on this channel or another channel? What do I mean by other videos? For instance, I have some knowledge of... Um, uh, for instance, of family systems and constellation work. I have some knowledge of that. And I have definitely things that I want to share. I'm not like uh, the best of the best, but I have knowledge of it. And I want to share it as a tool so you can explore. Maybe you are so, uh, and, and talking about that, making a video about it, talking about it. Um, I, uh, I definitely, uh, relationships. And definitely I have some ideas around the relationships and around attachment styles, around people pleaser syndrome and so on. I definitely have some knowledge about that. Um, so I could do videos about that. Um, another thing could be, for instance, what else could be? There's so much to talk about. Feminine energy, feminine energy versus masculine energy. What about feminine energy and uh, um, what about the topic that uh, I always attract um, very uh, uh, men who always cheat or I attract always women who are very bossy? How come? You know, a topic about that and so on and so on. I, in my humble opinion, I think that I would, I would have to start another channel. But... Um, but maybe, I don't know. I want to ask you, uh, if you, if a lot of people are saying, no, 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 that's okay. If I'm not going to be interested, I'm going to skip the video, but I want to stay on this channel. Or you're going to say, yeah, uh, I want to have a separate channel and so on and do it there. So that's my first question. The first question is, am I doing this on a different channel or not? What do you think of the idea? 
because this is a I'm not doing this by myself I feel and it's it's a, you know it's a responsibility that I'm taking here that I don't want to do it on myself anymore don't so I want to work more with you and because I sensed the the time that I sensed the, mo the most warmth of all that I um, was when my mom died you know there were so many comments and I thought wow wow you know we, um, uh, December 2022 there were so many comments and they were so warm and I felt it it was the first time in my life that I felt support that I couldn't even see it's a lovely feeling and I, I want to tap into that more and um, yeah, that's really, really interesting to tap into that. So, so I want to be more of a community here and uh, that we're helping out each other, you know, we're helping out each other. I'm one of yours, right? I, I might have a little bit more knowledge about astrology or maybe even, you know, but, but on a, on a level of being human, it's, um, it's the same. So, um, by the way, I'm so grateful for you as a community. You know, yeah, it's it's um, something that is supporting me to this channel for growth as well, right? Or another channel, a potential other channel for growth because we're doing this together. This is, um, so don't underestimate your energy that you're giving back to me, right? By commenting by liking or just by watching this video and just saying, oh yeah, that idea was interesting and I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna spread the word or whatever. It's so, it's, it's like energy exchange, which is support in this case. Definitely for me. If you are getting support of me, well, you're definitely also supporting me, whether it is financial, whether it is, you know, with those, those kind words of, uh, one and a half years ago, in which, you know, I got even a tiny little bit emotional again when I was thinking of it, but which is beautiful, which is beautiful. So I mean it from the heart. And um, so, yes, how can we grow this channel? How can we even, I say we, um, serve more people? And um, so that, that identity shift for a lot of people, which I think we are a bit like we're all in it. You know, there's definitely since 2020, 2012, um, you know, with the Maya calendar and all of that. And a lot of people kind of have their wake up call. Surely I did as well, because then I, I started my channel. Um, it was a bit before it, but anyway. And, um, so this, so that we can help others to, go smoothly through that process or a bit more smoothly, still with adjustments and so on, but so that our uh, people around us, our children, our grandchildren, go through these transitions smoothlier, easier, because, you know, it's, we, we transfer that through our genes, right? And, um, yeah, and I can go on and on and on. I think I'm going to stop here. Another, no, another question that I'm having for those of you who are still here. Thank you so much. Another question. What would be the astrology uh, toolkit for you? You know, what is the, um, what is the topic that you want to know more about? And just read it in the, uh, write it in the comments. It doesn't have to be, it can be uh, everything. And, um, so what is a topic that you want to know more about that can help you? Uh, you know, uh, for instance, a healing trauma, for instance, EDMR, or how, how is it called? I want to know more about that, or I want more, more about that. You know, it's something that I know nothing about. So writing it in the comments, if I'm going to see it like 20 times, I'm going to delve into it. You see what I mean? So I'm trusting the universe and you guys out there that um, I guide you and yeah, you can guide me as well. And isn't that a beautiful thing? Anyway, lots of love, lots of fun. Don't, don't um, uh, forget to at least once a day laugh with something, whether it is with your cat or with your dog or with me, you know, doing some 
crazy stuff. But anyway, very important. Keep the lightness of it. Anyway, having said that, thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.